Hey guys, Mr. Heal back here. Um, so we are on chapter two, lesson 2.2, and we're going to be reading Disaster in California. So you may have heard about severe storms causing destruction and damage in your area, and you may have heard or ever been in a major storm yourself. In this lesson, we're going to read about disaster in California to learn about a mega flood that happened over 150 years ago um, that was caused by severe storms. As you read, you're going to use what you know about air parcels and energy transfer to take a closer look at what caused these storms to be so intense. Reading about this mega flood will help you better understand how the warming of an air parcel can affect the weather. So before um, we think about this, before you know, we jump right into that reading and we, we jump in to our, um, our warm up. Okay, our unit question, why do some rainstorms have more rain than others? And then we moved on to chapter two question, which is why is the amount of rain in Galetown different from storm to storm? We had two um, key concepts in our last lesson. Um, the troposphere is the warmest at the surface and coldest at its highest point. So thinking about um, what that means, that when, when air is down here, the surrounding air, it is much warmer. But when we're up here, it is much cooler, right? And those air parcels, they tend to rise, right? Um, and if an air parcel is warmer than the surrounding air, it's going to rise. But as it rises, because the, the top of the troposphere is colder than the bottom, as that air parcel um, rises, it's going to lose some of um, its temperature, actually a lot of its temperature. So let's jump in um, to the lesson. All right. Whoop. Here we go. Okay, so below is a model of the troposphere. Use the words in the word bank to label the images and then answer the question below. Oh man, don't you just love that I go and I review right before we even jump into the lesson? Because we know from what I just said um, in our key concepts that the troposphere is warmer at the bottom and it is colder at the top. And so that question, how does temperature of the air and the troposphere change from the bottom of the arrow to the top of the arrow? And we've answered that, right? So the temperature of the air at the bottom of the troposphere is warmer than the temperature of the air at the top of the troposphere. All right, so let's get reading, guys. <laughs> 